kind of trunk and spine and around the spine. So we will do that. So go ahead and, and find your chair, take a comfortable seat. And remember that as you come to sit in your chair, when we're starting here, I want you to um, sit up tall in your chair. So like at the end of our, our practice, you know how I say you can usually kind of just like slouch and just kind of chill out in your chair. Here I want you to be a little bit more active through your body. So kind of like shift your hips back towards your chair and almost kind of let your entire back rest against your backrest, okay? So we're gonna start to um, bring some awareness to the spine, all right? So that's gonna be really important today as we think about kind of lengthening around the neck and the entire spine and the low back. So we'll just start to kind of do that. And then with your feet on the floor, I want you to just begin to kind of rock your toes and heels. So we're bringing some awareness to our entire body. So you're sort of lifting your toes up, lifting your toes up, lifting your heels up, maybe rotating the ankles a little bit, one direction and then the other direction. And then, and then go back to rocking toes to heels. And then I want you to kind of press into the floor with both your feet equally. So kind of just noticing all four corners of each foot. Once again, taking a nice deep breath in, sitting tall, and let's reach our arms all the way up for the sky. So really lengthening, reaching your fingertips all the way up. Take a couple nice deep breaths here. So inhale and exhale with your arms up, kind of feel the expansion of your rib cage, gently pressing all of your foot into the floor on both sides. Continuing to breathe, inhaling and exhaling. Good, one more inhale, reach all the way up, spread those fingers nice and wide, big exhale, release your arms down, let your back settle into the chair, almost kind of letting your upper back kind of melt over the top part of your chair. Blink your eyes closed or lower your gaze and start to take your breath low into your belly. Inhaling into the belly, allowing it to expand. Exhaling, drawing the navel into the spine. So as we shift our breath low or into the lowest part of your belly, I want you to think about really keeping your spine lengthened. When you breathe in, think about creating space between each vertebrae. As you exhale, just subtly drawing the belly button in towards the spine. So continuing to breathe in and out into the belly. And we're going to move into a three-part breath. So when we talk about a three-part breath, what we're going to do is think about moving the breath up the back body, so up the back side of the body, starting from the lower rib cage, the mid back, and then the upper back. And then as we exhale, we're gonna think about releasing the breath from the chest, the middle rib cage, and the low belly. Okay, so that's your visualization today. So on an inhale, think about moving the breath, expanding the lower rib cage, the middle back, the upper back, Think about that breath circling around your head. And then as you exhale, release it from your upper chest, middle rib cage, low belly. So that is how I want you to continue to breathe here. So inhale in three parts, rib cage on the back side, mid back, upper back. Exhale out the front body, upper chest, middle rib cage, low belly. So really thinking about that full rib cage expansion, really allowing the breath to go to every place in the rib cage. So we're gonna do that a few more times at your own pace. So allowing the breath to come up the back body, and then exhale out the front body. And just allow 
allow yourself to take some time with this. So you're breathing at a pace that feels right for you. So that can be, I, I would like it to be a little bit slower than you normally breathe, but you're gonna do what works for you today. I'm just focusing in on the quality of your breath. And then one more time, inhaling up the back body, exhaling out the front body. Good, and then the next time you breathe in, sweep your arms all the way up towards the sky. On an exhale, press the hands together at heart center. Good, again, inhale, sweep the arms up. Lifting your rib cage, allowing those ribs to flare. Exhale, hands to heart center. Good, one more time. Inhale, raising the arms up, gathering the energy. Exhale, press it, hands together, heart center. Drop your chin down. Create an intention or a dedication for your practice today. Good, take a cleansing breath. Inhaling through your nose. Big exhale through the mouth. And then slowly release your hands down. Go ahead and sit a little bit taller in your chair. Shift your weight more forward so you're sitting at the edge of the chair. We're gonna start with some seated cat and cow poses. So on an inhale, you're gonna open up the chest, tip the pelvis forward, lift your chin. Think about opening at the front of the neck. On an exhale, you're gonna tuck and round your back. Chin to your chest, lengthening the back body. Big inhale, sit tall. Open the chest, lift your chin. I want you to bring your awareness to your entire spine. So top of the head all the way down to your tailbone. So as you round your back and come into seated cat, your tailbone tucks under. Good, as you inhale, sit as tall as you can, tip your pelvis forward. Not as tall as you can, but as tall as you feel good doing. Exhale, tuck and round. Separate the shoulder blades. Pull your belly in. Inhale, sit tall. Lengthen upward. Lift your chin. Exhale, tuck and round. Tailbone tucks under. Pull your belly in. Good. One more cycle. Inhale, sit tall. Open up the chest. Lift your chin up towards the sky. Exhale, tuck and round. Good. Inhale, come back to a neutral spine position and drop your chin down towards your chest. So sitting at a neutral spine, halfway between those cat and cow poses. Good. On an inhale, come back to neutral if it's available to you. Chin up towards the ceiling. Good. Exhale, neutral spine. Breathe in, exhale, chin to your chest. Good, inhale, neutral spine. Exhale, nice and long. Inhale, chin up. Exhale, back to center. Good, grab a hold of the bottom of your chair. Let your, with both hands, if it's available to you, and drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. So this is not gonna be available to every single one of you. I don't want you pulling on your head and neck, but I want you to take your right hand and just set it on the top part of your, kind of that temple area, okay? So we're not pulling, but we're just setting it there, okay? If you don't wanna do that, then don't, no big deal, okay? So you're just providing a little bit of gentle overpressure. And I don't have people do this a lot because I feel like our tendency is to kind of crank on our head and neck. So it's just nice and gentle and you don't have to do that. Good, then set your hand down. Slowly come out of it. Sit tall, left ear, left shoulder. So if you can tell that gravity is helping you here and you're getting a nice stretch, great. If you want to explore some gentle overpressure, you're gonna take that left hand and just barely just rest the weight of your hand on that right side of your head. 
So you're doing, we're doing a side neck stretch here. So we're working on ear to the shoulder, just pausing and breathing into where you feel restricted. Good, then you can either just bring the head back or you can take your hand and bring it around to the other side of your head and just gently bring your head back up to center. Good, release your hand down. Sit nice and tall, breathe in. Go ahead and turn and look over your right shoulder as far as you feel comfortable. So some of us are gonna have a lot of motion in the neck and we're gonna be able to turn our head all the way to the side and some of us are gonna be pretty restricted. So you're just gonna do what works for you. Come back to center. Good, sit nice and tall. So think about creating lots of space in your spine. Turn and look to the left. Good, come back to center, sit nice and tall. Turn and look to the right. And this time, if you want, take that left hand and just set it on your right leg and then reach your right arm back behind you. It's a little bit more of a spine stretch. Good, slowly come back to center, sit nice and tall. Go ahead and turn and look to the left. This time, take your right hand, set it on the outside of your left leg and reach your left arm back. Nice and gentle spine twist. Looking back at your hand. I know, I don't know what's happening. I'm getting some. Ooh, come back to center. Good, take your feet nice and wide here. So you're gonna turn your knees and your toes slowly out to the side. Take a nice deep breath in. Bring your arms all the way out. Pull your shoulder blades together. As you exhale, I want you to reach down in the direction of the floor and let the back relax. So we're gonna pause here. I want you to think about breathing into your back body. So reaching your fingertips for the floor, 